The most important method for proper machine monitoring is vibration monitoring. Vibrations, um, we easily talk about vibrations and we talk about vibration monitoring all the time, um, but we should be a little bit more precise about what vibration we talk about. Is it um, acceleration, is it um, velocity or even displacement, which also can be considered as a vibration, also it is very slow. Um, to shed a little bit more light on this, I have cut two vibration analysts, Jan, here with me, and he will go a little bit, will show you a little bit on an example of a reciprocating machinery. Um, which sensors you, we are using, or you are using as a monitor specialist, um, what their output is, and what failures they can detect. Yeah, thanks Joost for this nice introduction. So we have mainly, let's call it three vibration sensors. We have the acceleration sensor, the velocity sensor, and as mentioned, the proximity sensor. But let, ex let's exclude the um, proximity sensor today, and let's focus on the acceleration and velocity signal. So main important difference is that the acceleration signal is a much higher frequency signal like the velocity signal. So if you have a velocity probe, the frequency domain is much lower and we cannot see the complete frequency range like for an acceleration sensor. On the other hand, the velocity probe is better to see lower frequency signals like on the frame for example. Frame is a good hint, so if we look to the machine here on that little picture, we see an overview of one cylinder of the compressor. So if we are talking about frame vibration signals, these are mainly measured here, directly on the housing of the compressor. Um, so that might be a good example for a frame vibration probe. Because on that part of the compressor, we do not see any impacts from the valves, load, uh, load reversal points or something like that. We see really slow moving um, yeah, vibrations which are caused from the complete machine. So the complete machine is a big mass and it's not possib possible that the machine is shaking with a high frequency. So there we are looking to low frequencies to monitor especially that area. And this is as well a protection probe. So we are talking about a single RMS value, for example, overrun revolution. We are building up the root mean square value and can trip the compressor based on that signal. On the other hand, we have the acceleration signal like shown here. So you see already the frequency is here a lot higher um, in the time signal overrun revolution from top dead center to bottom dead center to top dead center again uh, in correlation to the velocity signal, which is much lower in frequency. So where we use these acceleration probes? These acceleration probes are mainly used when we look to that compressor again here in the top in the cylinder head because we want to monitor the impacts from the different valves. These are high frequent impacts and each valve opening or closing will cause a vibration signal which is measured with this acceleration probe. And additionally, we are using that probe here on the crosshead area to monitor the crosshead vibrations as well. There we do not see so many uh, wealth impacts, but we see the lot, uh, load reversal points, which always cause a high frequent vibration impact. So this could be a good example for a vibration signal measured on the crosshead, because we see point number two, where the loads change, uh, uh, two points, so point number one and point number two. Uh, these are the load, re load reversal points. For the cylinder vibrations, that would be more impacts. We had probably here two impacts and here two impacts, maybe in the dead center as well some impacts. So depending on the probe location, we see different kinds of impacts. For good monitoring, it's for sure nice to have all the vibration probes. So in the cylinder head area to monitor the valve impacts, in the crosshead area to monitor as well the crosshead vibration impacts, which are from the load reversal points, and additionally the frame vibration signal, uh, which is much lower in frequency. So that was a short summary about the different probes. Any points from your side, Joost? So you just mentioned that it would be good to have all three mm -hmm. measurements um, online. What is the minimum requirement? What would you say, okay, this is a must-have for uh, at least ensure a proper protection system? Yeah, so from my understanding, 
Um, the most important probe is the crosshead vibration signal here in this area because there we are monitoring this kind of acceleration signal and in case we are seeing increasing signals here and here then we are talking about a loose connection what is for sure critical for the compressor. If we see here some increasing vibrations that might be an indication for too high force for lubrication issues something like that. So for protection this is the most important thing to have an acceleration probe on the crosshead. On the other hand, the velocity signal measured on the frame is as well a requirement from the API if you want to run your compressor in that way. Um, but based on our experience, I would like to say the crosshead vibration probe is more important because if something increases here in this area, the crosshead vibration probe will see that as well. Um, also, you just crossed out the displacement story. Mm -hmm. um, I would like to go into this as well because I think piston rod monitoring is also a protection issue Correct. as far as uh, the API uh, appendix is concerned. They, they um, I wouldn't say uh, required, but they suggest to have a piston rod Correct. measurement as well to detect failures on this part. Um, would you say, okay, I agree with that. You would like to see also to have a displacement permanent monitoring yes, right. to avoid um, at least critical failures. Yes, correct. So if we are talking about the piston rod displacement probe, so that is a proximity probe which is normally installed here very close to the packing and this probe is monitoring the movement up and down of the piston um, and that probe is as well very important. So if we have parts inside the compression chamber, if we have a loose connection here or here, then the piston rod uh, proximity probe, the displacement probe will see that as well and for the protection crosshead and piston rod are working together. So only one is good for sure, but uh, if you have both, you are protected more or less for the complete area here in the cylinder head. On the other hand, the cylinder vibration probe here in the top, um, this acceleration probe is a nice to have for condition monitoring. So valves fail much more often for sure, like a crosshead. Mm -hmm. So a vibration probe here makes sense as well to monitor the most common failure, but finally um, it is early failure detection and not protection because if a well fails it's not so important, let's say, it will not damage the complete cylinder. You will have an issue here, you will lose performance in case of a leakage, but finally it's not a protection uh, value here in the top. So only crosshead and piston rod are for protection and based on the API requirements the velocity probe as well. Okay, super. But at least for the valves, I mean they are um, responsible for more than 80% of all the failures Correct. on the yeah, machine yeah. So and all the, for the downtime. It's not only nice to have you, right? Okay. Well, I hope you like what we just uh, explained to you. Um, so stay tuned and uh, enjoy the next show here at Intelligent Machine Monitoring.